Hey everybody, Dom here. Today, for fun, I'm going to review a few custom maps for Team Fortress 2. Each review will be one minute long because that's a fun structure for reviews. I love making videos with interesting structures. They're the best. Since each review will be one minute long, I can work them into the timeline of this video perfectly. What I mean is, the first review will start at the one minute mark, the second review at the two minute mark, etc, etc. Consequently, the intro has to be extra long so that it takes exactly one minute. For this video, I've gathered some custom maps that were somewhat recently made. The oldest one is a few years back. All of them looked very interesting on their download pages. The theme is King of the Hill. All maps featured will be of the King of the Hill game mode. Alright, it's been about a minute. Let's begin. This map is called Overgrowth by Pixelated Gamer. It's an indoor map where there is overgrowth areas, hence the name. For some reason, the payload cart, there's a payload cart on this map, and when the map ends, it falls down and causes an explosion. Don't know what's up with that. Also worth noting, if you rocket up up to this area and try to escape the boundaries of the map, you die. They probably should have just made an invisible wall in my opinion, rather than something that kills you. Over here, walking through these things, kinda sucks. It basically, it feels like a lag spike because the door opens too short, too slowly. I dislike the sniper, um, the sniper nest over here because this, because this glass exists. It's hard to see that the glass exists from far away. So whereas you can shoot through here, there, and over here, you can't shoot that through there. Also, um, this area here, it's dark. I don't like that. And I find it interesting the use of custom custom assets like this this one right here, this blue one rather than than red because normally in Team Fortress 2 they're all red these things. Other than that, this map overall great design. I like it. It looks beautiful. It uses a lot of assets from um, Jungle Infernal. And uh, it's great, yeah. The name of this map is Runoff, and it's created by Vivix. This is a very Half-Life 2 themed map. It's a giant horseshoe design, or U-shaped design, where the control point is in the middle. It's not very well themed, it's like the control point, it's hard to tell where the boundaries are where you can actually cap it. Interestingly, or weirdly, as soon as the round begins, as soon as a, round, a new round starts, loads of physics objects just fall to the ground at once. Kinda strange. Perhaps it's because uh, Half-Life 2 was very physics-themed, so this map just tries to have a bunch of th physics objects. There are explosive barrels on the map, as you can see here. The map is not symmetrical, there's no spawn protection, it's a very, very, I'm gonna say poorly made map. It's good in its own way, if you're, just, if you're just having fun, you don't really mind. There are places like this where the high dynamic range is kind of blown out. That's kind of unfortunate. And the last horrible part, the last nail in the coffin, is that it's possible to escape the boundaries. You could just rocket jump outside the map and just sort of... Walk over here, for example. So overall, not a great map. This map is called Stargate by Frame Super Llama. This map is pretty bad. There's a Stargate. Let's investigate further. So the way the Stargate ga gimmick works in this map is it's a giant floating thing like this. And when you go through it, you teleport to a random location. Uh, there's various preset locations. It's an okay gimmick. As far as gimmicks go, I like it. What sucks about this map Besides it being very non-symmetrical, like blue spawns over there and red spawns over there. But other than that, there are buildings that are very different. Like the interior of this is completely different than the exterior of this area here. The proportions are way off. The map is way too big. Like you're jumping off here, you're falling down like two stories. Just rocking, you, you, this is a map where the sticky jumper is probably amazing. Things like this, where the textures are just large and stretched out, does not look great. There's no, there's no there's no bends of line of sight. Look, you can see through... The, it, it's just horrible. This map is called Centigrade by Jan. It's not great. It's kind of the opposite problem as the previous map, where this map is very cramped. Like, for example, this is red spawn, this is blue spawn, and from blue spawn, to the center control point is right here. This map is a beta, unlike the previous maps, so I'm gonna give it more slack, I'm gonna say, you know, things could be worked out, it's, it's, it's alright, it's not horrible. One thing though that is horrible is, I think the person misunderstood how fog works, so look at that white thing in the distance, that's, that's fog. So as I move closer, it, it, it moves as, with me, and I turn the camera, it moves to other corners. Little weird. Speaking of this, the, the, the distance, this skybox is like, unbelievably bad. But once again, it's a beta, I give it a little bit of leeway. These areas are very cramped. The hallways, I'm not a big fan of the hallways. This area here, you go up here, and then you're on this platform. I don't like this platform either. Overall, not a great map. 
This map is called Atrocity. It's by Jeff with lowercase j. So this is a meme map. It contains many references. You start off in blue team in like a room with soldier pictures and cats, or if you're on red team, in a room with soldier pictures and dogs. Interesting. Then you teleport using doors to the, to the map itself. The map is mainly themed after um, uh, Afraid of Monsters. It's Halloween themed, it has Halloween spells, and there are loads of teleporter areas and references. It's just completely chock full of references. It's okay, it probably plays, actually probably, probably plays pretty badly. It's just two floors of a main room more or less where you just uh, deathmatch it out. There are teleporter areas like this door for example, lead to various little, uh, locations. It's interesting to just walk around and admire the various art on the walls and the memes that exist within this map. Here's Peter Griffin. Amazing. Overall, okay map probably if you're into this sort of meme stuff. This map is called Lava Zone by Diddly Diddly. It's a very simple map, containing not much, just two spawns and a control point in the middle. And the outside of the map is a lava sort of volcano shaped object, but only made out of lava. Very interesting. This is beautiful. Well, metaphorically beautiful. This map is just Team Fortress 2 distilled down into, like, deathmatch, basically. It's fun. Fun! Fun, I gotta say! All, well, I never actually played it, but I'm, I'm assuming. Here's the blue spawn. It connects, and red spawn's pretty much the exact same thing. Very minimal, very basic. It's Team Fortress 2 distilled down into fun only. And what happens on this map is occasionally the Headless Horseman spawns and just goes crazy and runs around and kills people. It's a very small map, so there's not much space. I imagine snipers aren't the best idea. You, you probably wouldn't go sniper on this map, but you might for a little bit of fun. It's Team Forge 2. It's fun. It's great. This map is called Dry Water Hole by Owont. It's technically very bad. There are missing problems, missing textures. Not missing problems, there are many problems. <laughs> But overall, I think it's amazing. It's great. It looks like they had technical vision when they had artistic vision when making it. Look at how this there's a ship in the sky that just rests on 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 rocks. Clearly, there, there, this map has a story to tell. Interestingly, it has mechanical things. This door here and on the other side opens as soon as the round begins, as well as this large door. Once this control point is captured, it slides along the ceiling over here, this death pit, and this death pit opens up. It has these paths that lead to the spawn, and this leads, leads back up. So interesting. One problem with this map is it's very bright in certain places. I think this is a, you know, I'll let this slide. I think it's a problem that occurs with cube maps on DirectX 8, but I'm not entirely sure what causes it, but there are rooms like this because as a result. So overall, an okay map has problems though, and there's an Easter egg room here. This map is called Meat Circle, and it is by Colbert, Dingoth, and Bassler. And I've picked this because it was interesting. It's a gigantic room with pillars and it's entirely made out of meat, and the lighting source is eyeballs. There are two spawns. There's not much spawn protection, just basically a, a brush that says you can't go there, so people could probably shoot in there, in there. And it's just a big room. The only really big aspect, the only noteworthy thing about this map is that it's entirely made out of meat, and when you walk around there's a squishy sound, and it always plays music. I've muted it right now, but there's music and screaming in the music for some reason. I'm sure, you know, a, a giant map made out of meat, Vine Sauce Finny would totally love this map. Also worth noting, there are these bits of like bone near the point, with the control point in the middle. They, they're they easy to get snagged on. I, I'm going to say that's the only sucky part of this map. Other than that, this map looks great, and I'm sure it totally plays well. It probably does not play well, it's Sniper Paradise. This map is called Base Pit by Prince Meatball, and it is quite cubical. First thing. I really dislike this displacement. I really dislike the skybox. This is not how I, I would do displacement. This is quite... it's not my jam. The spawns are small, kind of cramped, and probably prone to spawn camping because they're just two exits really close to each other. The map doesn't really differentiate itself between red, blue, and blue side that easily. You could look up, I suppose, but nothing really separates this area's look from this area's look from this area's look, etc. There's a lot of cover. This map probably plays well. Uh, the control point's a little small for my taste. Like, you, you can only really stand in one area. It's a small area, and I'm not a big fan of that. There's a death pit behind, near the control point, and it also contains pretty bad displacement, in my opinion. Overall, good map. Very symmetrical. 
This map is called Hazmat by Koiter, and it has an unbelievably large error where things are really messed up here. Like, this is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how it looks on the, on the publicity pages, on the pages where you download this from. So, I've decided to click this button, ring, and disable the lighting, and so we can actually see the map and see how it looks, for real. Also worth noting, when I loaded up this map, it took way longer than usual, so I guess there is, like, a really bad a lighting error in it. Anyways, it plays alright for what I've seen. There's nothing special. Even though this looks elaborate, this middle control point, it doesn't do anything. It's just a regular, regular control point. This map is not great. It, it's just both sides just sort of funnel in through either this door, this door, or, or this door into the middle. So they just fight over here and it's cramped. You can't go around the control point. It, it's not great. If the first impression your map makes on me is me spawning in and then I get snagged on a piece of prop, I'm not going to like your map. This map is called Stone Blast, and it's by someone named Danny. I really dislike this map. This is probably the best technically made map that I dislike the most. So let's start by the spawns. Things like this, where it would not exist in real life. It's just like, this is not human architecture. You're not making human architecture here. <laughs> you gotta jump to get over this. That's annoying. Why does that exist like that? Oh, I hate it. Speaking of things you have to jump, this whole edge, you gotta jump that. You can't you can't just walk up it. That's disgusting. It's horrible. It kills me. There's a sniper nest here. It has basically one entrance and just health and ammo, nothing else. And all it does is allow someone to snipe to this point. And there's another one on the other side. Alright. That's horrible. That's bad. It's, uh, the control point's already small enough. So besides that, you have to stand in a very small location to actually have cover from these snipers. Uh, this map is horrible. I totally forgot to mention the underground cramped maze area that's completely pointless and no one would ever use. The final map is called Spillway, and it's made by Seba, Urban, Yerzy, and Large Green Circle. That final name doesn't really match the other ones. The control point here has an interesting little theming aesthetic to it, where once it is capped by one of the teams, these turbines turn on. Now you may be thinking, what kind of place has turbines? And if you were thinking, a dam? You'd be correct. Damn, girl. Look at this dam. Amazing. <laughs> as well as the, the turbine turning on, water goes through these pipes over here, and that's also a nice touch. Overall, this map is great. It's beautiful. It's well put together. Uh, I can't really fault it for much. But what I could fault it for is these ceiling things in spawn, which you could hit your head on. They should be no collision, okay? That's one fault. Second fault, it's kind of maze-like. Watch as I go through these various paths. There's underground areas, there's side areas, there's many, many, many areas here. But overall, great map. And that was the video. Today we looked at some interesting maps. A large amount of creativity and ingenuity was on display. We saw how many different people tackled the task of making a King of the Hill map in their own unique way. There were some great maps, and there were some maps with amazing potential. Thanks for watching. This was a really fun project to do. Perhaps I'll make another one in the future, but for a different category. So I'm not King of the Hill anymore, but something different. Whether or not I make a sequel all depends on if people really like this video, though. Thanks again. Au revoir.